back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Saturday, um, Christian and I are about to head out the door and go to Costco, get some more like meats and stuff for dinners and for our meal prepped lunches and just some other little stuff that we pick up from Costco on a regular basis. So we're getting that done today. I think it's supposed to rain a little bit later today and I think all day tomorrow. So I'd rather get it done now than doing that in the rain when it actually decides to start raining. I'll of course do, sorry if you can hear Christian on the phone, but I'll of course do a haul once we get back, but. just walked in the door from Costco we spent like two hours there and then we ate some lunch there but just brought everything inside so I'm going to do a quick haul got this Mexican style street corn I thought this would be good for meal prep I haven't tried it before but it's by the tattooed chef brand which is a really good brand and we buy their organic rice cauliflower stir fry and this stuff is really good for meal prep got some yellow rice haven't tried this before but Thought it'd be good to switch up some sides and do yellow rice. That'd be yummy. These are so good. The almond flour siete tortillas. We use these for tacos, breakfast quesadillas, breakfast tacos. Um, they're just good for like wraps for lunch, whatever. Christian and I went up and down every single aisle in Costco basically. And we saw these and I remember hearing that these were really good. So we decided to grab them. I needed more avocado oil spray. They didn't have any when I went last weekend to Trader Joe's, so I got some from Costco. We got this flank steak with lime cilantro marinade. Thought it'd be really good. We'll probably have it either tonight or tomorrow for dinner. And this would be really good with yellow rice as well. We got some new seasonings, which I'm excited about. So we got this veggie roaster, balsamic and roasted onion. That just sounds so good. And then we also got this wood-fired garlic one. Thought this would be good. We got some of this mild salsa. It looked really good. And we have a ton of tortilla chips that we got from Trader Joe's last weekend. Back on the salmon. We last time switched to tilapia, but now we went back to salmon. Got this beef pot roast. We got two of those. These are really easy dinners. And for meats, we got some organic ground beef. Um, two sets of organic ground turkey. We got chicken thighs this time. And we got like our regular chicken breasts and they're back to vacuum sealing. The past two times we've gone to Costco, the chicken hasn't come vacuum sealed. So now it's back to easy um, throw in the freezer. Eggs, we got some 4-in-1 OxyClean. This is so much cheaper at Costco. We got some mini Cokes. These are just really good to have in the fr fridge, honestly. And then paper towels. So I'm going to put this stuff away and um, upload a YouTube video. later I'm on my third load of laundry of the day it's not my last for the weekend it's probably my last for the day I want to wash our bed sheets I'll probably do that tomorrow because it's already 5 30 I've been waiting for a YouTube video to upload all day and I started the upload before we left for Costco and we were gone for almost three hours and it was only 50 percent uploaded when we got back so i canceled it and then restarted the upload and that was at that was already two hours ago and it's still 
uploading and I don't know what the deal is. So I'm waiting for it to upload. I don't know if it's too late because it is a Saturday night to upload it, but so we'll see. Um, Christian just actually went to go play golf. It's so weird. He's like all of a sudden really into golf lately. So he's been playing four weekends in a row, which I love. I always joked because when I was younger and when I was growing up, my parents actually had me take golf lessons and tennis lessons. And I was actually kind of forced to be on the middle school golf team growing up. My dad always said like, you need to learn how to play golf because your future boyfriend, your future husband is gonna take you golfing. And I love how he's like now getting into golf because I haven't played golf in a really long time, but I know how to play and I know the game, but um, I'm not like by any means good at it or tennis or anything, but I just love how he's getting into golf and he like wants to get good and well not like pro good but like wants to just develop and um i don't know he enjoys that and i really like that so maybe christian and i will go golfing and play like a few holes one day or something or make like a whole day out of it i think that would be so fun so that's what he's doing and then we're gonna cook dinner i think we're gonna cook that steak that we got from costco so i think we're gonna do that and then um uh, maybe open a bottle of wine i got some wine a little bit ago that I want to open but ooh, this is almost done okay I'm gonna post this video and then I'll talk to you guys when we're cooking dinner it's a little bit later Chris and I are cooking dinner we're using the, the person below us is gonna complain we're cooking some of the yellow rice that we got today at Costco that we haven't tried before and we're cooking that steak that we got and then some peppers on the side i wanted to drink this wine that i got probably two months ago and it's just been sitting in my fridge but it's the summer water rose and i know that really doesn't go with what we're having for dinner but it doesn't matter i want to try it it's just been sitting um for the longest time this wasn't available to purchase in orlando it was only in certain parts, I want to say Western US is the place that it was available, and um, it's made in California. So I want to try it. <laughs> Go ahead. What? What, honey? Oh. What? Can you grab this? <laughs> You don't like it? No, it's okay. You like the Whispering Angel better? Mm -hmm. I think it's really light. I think it's good. just wrote up a grocery list. I'm about to head out and go to Sprouts because it's 
way closer than Whole Foods and I need just like one thing that is at Sprouts and Whole Foods and it's milk. I had the littlest bit of milk left and it wasn't enough to make the perfect cup of coffee but it was like just enough to have in a cup of coffee. So I'm going to pick up some more of that. I can get the milk at Whole Foods or Sprouts and Sprouts is literally like two minutes down the road and Whole Foods is 15. So since I'm only really needing milk from those specific stores, I am gonna go there. And sadly this milk isn't sold at Publix or else I just get it there, but. So I'm gonna get the groceries from Sprouts today and it's just a few things because we got a lot of stuff at Costco yesterday, but we need like veggies and I need some more lemons for lemon water and just stuff like that, like the fresh stuff. On my Merry Christmas <laughs> notepad. Florida humidity. I got, I got these. Oh my gosh, my screen is gonna keep fogging up, isn't it? So I got these little sun protectors for my dash because my windshield isn't tinted. And I mean, I live in Florida and the sun is just so hot. It can really ruin your dash and plus it helps prevent a lot of heat from getting in. So your car is not as hot when you do get in it. So I'm obviously trying to <laughs> extend the life of my dash and my car and obviously this is my car, I pay for this car. You obviously wanna take care of your things. So I got these off of Amazon. I can link them but they only fit specific cars but they fit multiple brands and I just highly recommend for summer if your windshield isn't tinted. Only issue is, is I have the biggest issue with closing them. I don't know how to close them. So I usually just take them down and sit them in my passenger seat because I have literally no idea how to close them. Like, let me, let me demonstrate. I don't know why I'm so bad at this, but like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I feel like I have the right idea. See, there we go. This takes a little bit of practice. I have like the right idea. I know you're supposed to twist it, but I like just never know which way to twist it. So I usually just leave them like open in this, like this part of my car. <laughs> really bummed like today's like not been that great um a few weeks ago i like hit the counter with like the corner of my camera screen and this is the same like vlog camera that i've had literally since i started youtube this is the only camera and i take really good care of it and i hit the corner and it like cracked a little and i guess when i had it in my purse um just now like the crack just went into the screen and um, I think it's time for me to get like a, a new camera which sucks because these are expensive but and maybe I should like upgrade my camera and like obviously this camera is still good so I can travel with this camera and then like upgrade my camera to like a nicer one um, with better quality so maybe I should just start looking into that but I went to Sprouts they didn't have my oat milk, so I'm gonna have to go to another grocery store, which I'm kind of bummed about. I don't think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. I'll just go to a fresh market. I know that they had it, but like I'm also worried that if I go to the fresh market and they don't have it, then I'm just gonna have to go to Whole Foods. So I don't know what to do. I mean, fresh market is on the way to Whole Foods, so I'm just gonna go to fresh market, but I got sushi from Sprouts and they have really good sushi. So this will make me feel better, I guess. And then I also got a pressed green juice. This is greens with ginger. It has apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, and parsley. So I got that. I got like a whole pineapple. I looked up online how to tell if it's ripe and I think this is a perfectly ripe pineapple i can like squish it a little bit but it's not like squishy and the bottom like looks good 
So I'm gonna cut it. This is so much cheaper than buying cut, pre-cut fruit. I almost just went and bought pre-cut fruit and I would have spent $10 and this was $3. Saved money and got way more pineapple probably. So I got that. But anyways, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna go to Fresh Market. Okay. I don't know if this is really impulse buy of me or not, but I just bought a new camera. So it's gonna be ready in like an hour at Best Buy. I got the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, and it's gonna be a little bit bigger of a camera than this, and probably eventually I'll get the screen fixed on this one or something, but I have been honestly wanting to get an upgraded vlog camera or just camera in general and um yeah so i just got a new camera it's kind of impulse buy of me but i don't see myself stopping doing youtube um i still want to record vlog my life so i think at the end of the day it's something that will obviously get a lot of use out of and i take really good care of my things i'm actually like a psycho about it so it'll be fine but i'm excited i'm gonna pick it up and then um maybe while i'm there i'll ask them if they know roughly how much it would cost to get the screen fixed on this camera and then maybe a little bit down the road i'll go ahead and do that but anyways yeah, so I'm gonna go to Fresh Market and then pick up my camera and I'll show you the camera when I get back. Yeah, I just wanted to update you. on my screen is like progressively getting worse don't know why but I picked up the camera I just got out of Best Buy and picked it up and I thought it was gonna be bigger this isn't that big and clunky I'm sure once I add the lens though it'll be a little bit bigger but the one thing about this is I guess the lens doesn't retract so okay I'm like really excited though I don't know how I'm gonna record in public if it's like this big. Like how do you record? Okay, I'm like gonna set this up and then I'm gonna go to Fresh Market. Okay, my battery for my new camera is charging. So I'll probably film a clip or two once it gets charged a little bit, but I just got home from Whole Foods and I didn't really get much stuff. I got our favorite plantain chips. I can't find this flavor anywhere else besides Whole Foods, and it's the salt and vinegar one. These are literally so good. They're addicting. I wish the bags came like bigger. And then just got some frozen veggies, but I got five of these because I didn't want to run out for a while. And I don't go to Whole Foods that often because it's just kind of far. Plus, it's more expensive than Publix. But I got five of these, so I will not run out for at least a month. some tea I'm about to take a bath I'm gonna try and balance you on a hairspray um, just made some lemon balm tea I'm about to take a bath and use some bath salts they're the relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint and it smells so good 
can drink some tea and then I have to put the bed sheets on the bed so I'll do that after I get out of the bathtub. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. Um, I'm gonna drink this tea to help me relax and go to bed. Um, but the bed sheets are just fluffing in the dryer right now and then they'll be ready to go once I am done with the bath.